Hi everybody, welcome to the second session of Dark Horse Beer Garden Yoga. It's another beautiful day out here in the beer garden, um, blue skies, birds singing, so I'm really excited to be here. My name is Erin Madden-Reed. Um, I am from Sacred Being Yoga. Um, and I'm really excited to offer you a class today around the theme of edge. So maybe you've heard edge mentioned um, in a yoga practice or a yoga class that you've taken before. And my invitation to you today is to explore your edge. So the edge is known as any place where you're outside of your comfort zone. So this could be a place where you feel mentally uncomfortable or maybe physically uncomfortable, but really pay attention and keep in mind, right? This isn't a space of performance or competition um, or you know where you have to prove or be critical or judge yourself. So notice if you are in the flow and you're um, really trying to prove that you can do a posture or you're judging the way that you're doing a posture because that's a little different than edge that's more ego so what I'm inviting you to notice today is to be present to where you just resist a little bit, right? So that could even be um, many, many people, it's really normal when you get to the still postures or when you even get to Shavasana in the end to feel some resistance to stillness. So my invitation in this class about flowing into edge is to be aware of where you're resisting and just notice that without judgment and just let yourself be curious about what that means for you in your life. So as always, I really want you to know that you're always your own best teacher. So one part about yoga is tapping into what's happening inside and then following that inner wisdom and guidance. So please, at any time that you want to modify or you know, adjust a posture based on your own inner wisdom and guidance, please feel free to do that. Um, so the class will work in this way. We'll warm up a little bit. We'll take a minute to get centered and I'll offer some invitations for you to um, consider in your centering around edge. And then we'll move into the full embodied experience um, of playing with our edges and noticing what that means for us in our lives. Okay, so let's go ahead and get started. So first make your way to all fours, knees underneath your hips, and then hands underneath your shoulders. And just take a moment to come and sit back into child form, letting your head come to rest on your mat. And just become present to your body right now. Becoming present to where you feel your body breathing. And maybe even just beginning to invite a couple deeper breaths here. Perhaps inviting your breath into the back of your heart, letting your breath expand there, or inviting your breath into the space where your legs meet your hips. And then as you feel ready, slowly rising up to all fours and just begin to move through the different directions of your spine, breathing in, dropping your belly toward the floor, bringing your shoulder blades together, lifting your chin and lifting your tailbone. And then breathing out, rounding your spine, making space between your shoulder blades, tucking your tailbone. And then just moving through each one of these shapes, allowing yourself to be guided by your breath and already beginning to connect with your intuition, moving fast or slow based on what your body's asking for. Perhaps unifying your movement with your breath. Breathing in as your belly moves toward the floor and you open through your chest. And then breathing out as you round your spine, pulling your belly into your spine. And just finding a little warm up flow, beginning to feel energy moving through your body.
And then as you feel ready, returning to your flat back and inhaling your left arm out and open toward the sky. And then exhaling, bringing your left shoulder and your left ear to your mat and just taking a gentle twist through your spine. You can play with this by walking your fingertips forward and lifting your right knee up, extending through your right heel. Being present to your breath as you just feel this twist in your back. And then returning your right palm, returning your right knee and pushing back up to your table form. In breath, opening your right arm up to the sky. Exhale, your right shoulder and your right ear finds the mat. And then perhaps walking your left fingertips forward and you're lifting your left knee. You can always try this. And then if it's not right for you, just bringing your knee and hand back to your mat. Being present to at least one full deep breath here. And then returning your left palm and your left knee pushing up into table form again. This time extending your right foot and extending your left arm alongside your left ear. You can keep the ball of your right foot down on the earth or you can lift it up. Just finding a balance here. And then inviting a float, the in breath, you feel the length from your left fingertips to your right heel, and then your out breath rounding your spine. And then moving through a flow here, breathing in to lengthen, and breathing out to draw inward. Moving at your own pace, perhaps inviting presence and curiosity to your movement. And then we all meet for a moment in spinal balance and then putting a bend in your right knee, rotating your left arm back, catching hold of your foot or even just reaching for it and just taking a moment here. And then returning your left palm to the earth and your right knee and recalibrating, finding balance and support, all four limbs connecting with the earth. And then now inhaling your right arm alongside your right ear, extending your left leg. You can keep the ball of your foot on the earth or you can lift it up. And then inviting a flow here, inhaling and exhaling unifying your breath with your movement or perhaps it feels better for your practice to move independently of your breath but just finding your own unique flow And then meeting with your right arm extended and your left foot either lifted or on the earth. And then just playing with putting a bend in your left knee, rotating your arm back and finding balance here. And then as you feel complete, bringing your right hand back to the earth, returning your left knee. And now, just walking your hands forward. Really be with your hands, connecting with your mat and the floor, or the earth. Taking a breath in. And then breathing out, just melting your heart toward the mat. And just take a couple breaths here. 
You can bring your chin forward if that feels good for your body this right now. Or resting your forehead. Just getting curious about your breath. Getting present to the sensations you're creating in this shape. And then as you feel ready, walking your hands back underneath your shoulders, coming to sit back on your heels. So we're going to take a bit of a grounding flow, flow to further invite presence so we can be aware of our experiences this morning. So inhale, coming to stand on your knees, pushing your hip points forward, lifting your arms up alongside your ears, perhaps even looking up. And then when you're ready to breathe out, sitting back on your heels. Inhaling, coming through, dropping your belly toward the earth, lifting your chin, lifting your sit bones. And then when you're ready to breathe out, tucking your tailbone under, pushing into your hands, rolling over your heels, the downward facing dog. And then your in breath sails your hip points forward, smiles your heart out and up, shoulder blades roll back and down as you finish your in breath. And then when you're ready to breathe out, rolling onto your knees all the way back to child's form. And then we begin again, in breath, rising arms out to the sides, up overhead, pushing your hips forward. Your out breath brings your hips back to your heels for child. Inhale, bring your shoulders together, lifting your tailbone. Exhale, tucking your tailbone, downward facing dog. Inhale. Finding upward facing, rolling shoulders back and down, letting your hips sink forward. Exhale, child. And inhale, continue your flow. Standing on your knees. Exhale, child. Inhale, rolling forward. Exhale, tucking your tailbone, moving back to downward facing dog. Inhale, up dog. You can adjust your hands so they're underneath your shoulders. Exhale, child. And inhale, begin again. Try two more rounds of this at your own pace, following your breath and exploring this flow in your body. at your own pace and just exploring the joy of moving rather than worrying very much about if you're doing it right and just feel your body move through these different shapes inviting presence One more time through. Letting all of your awareness connect to your body in motion and your breath. this round we'll all just meet back up in a moment in child's form you can either extend your arms out in front of you or bring your hands back toward your feet and just take a couple breaths here
And then as you feel ready, if your arms aren't already extended, reaching your arms out from your shoulders, coming up into your downward facing dog. So rolling over your heels, shaking your head yes, shaking your head no. Feeling your body breathe in this upside down V shape. Maybe even pedal out through your heels, extending one heel, bending the opposite knee. Maybe even beginning to invite some movement into your hips, circling your hips as you bend each alternate knee. As you feel ready, taking a look at your hands out in front of you, you can walk, step, or jump your feet to meet your hands. And then slowly coming up to a forward fold. And then one vertebra at a time, rolling all the way up to mountain form. Rolling your shoulders back and down a few times. And then just finding a moment of stillness in mountain form. So feeling all four corners of your feet rooted down into your mat. Drawing energy up through your legs, engaging your legs, lifting your kneecaps up gently. Inviting your tailbone to just extend long towards the earth. And then just allow your chin to tuck slightly, feeling the length of your spine, perhaps even turning your palms forward to encourage your shoulder blades to release down your back. We're gonna practice breath of joy here. So breath of joy is just three quick in-breaths with movement. So you breathe in as your arms come forward, in as your arms come out, and in as your arms come up. And then when you're ready to breathe out, your arms come down in a quick sweeping motion. As your arms come down, you can come all the way into a forward fold, or if you have high blood pressure, or you get dizzy, just bring your arms down and keep your body up. So let's try this. So breathing in, 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 and out, with a bend or without a bend. Perhaps closing your eyes and beginning. In through your nose, and then you can let it out through your mouth. You can even make sound as you come forward. <sighs> noticing if this is an edge already for you. Maybe you're noticing judgmental, critical thoughts showing up. <sighs> and just noticing that and returning to the experience of what it feels like to breathe and move. Moving at your own pace. Just finding curiosity and what is happening now. Take it a few more rounds. One more round. And then just making your way back to mountain, connecting your feet to your mat. And just becoming present to the energy that you've created now. And then just connecting one hand to your heart.
and just asking your heart what it can tell you about your edge. Perhaps asking what you might be trying to avoid or control or ignore. And then perhaps just even setting the intention to stay present to your whole experience on your mat today. Noticing what you might try to ignore or avoid or control. Bringing your other hand up on top of the hand you're connected to your heart and set any other intention that serves your practice today. And then when you feel ready, releasing both of your hands, palms coming forward, taking a nice wide stance on your mat. And then coming down into a squat. So we call this goddess squat. Inhale, pushing your legs straight, arms come out to the side and up overhead. And then when you're ready to breathe out, just bringing yourself into a squat, bringing your thumb and forefinger together, just to say, I'm here. Inhaling, straightening legs, opening out, expanding. Exhale, squat. A few more rounds like this, inhale. Exhaling, finding that space in your squat where you feel just the right amount of sensation. One more flow, inhaling. And then just finding that sweet spot. Dropping your tailbone down toward the earth. And you can connect your hands to your hips and just start to create a little bit of movement in your hips through your knees. You can feel maybe even visualizing an infinity symbol. Maybe your arms are out to the sides and you involve your ribs and just beginning to move here and inviting more of this free flow movement. Notice if this is something you might feel uncomfortable with. And see if you can just soften into whatever is uncomfortable. Moving with your breath, feeling your energy, expanding and moving. Perhaps closing your eyes to connect with your intuitive self. And then when you feel ready, taking your weight over into your left foot, turning your right foot to be parallel to the short edge of your mat, turning your left foot so your toes point at the short edge of your mat, interlacing your fingers, rolling shoulders back and down, drinking in the sky, and then exhale, coming to humble warrior. Feeling your breath here, becoming present to your sensations in your body. And just seeing where you can soften into any discomfort. How can your breath help you be with your edge? Coming to a lunge for a moment and then walking your left foot out so it points out to the corner of your mat. And it might even walk off your mat. Dropping your right knee, sinking your right hip down and your left hip down, letting your head be heavy here. And breathing into lizard posture. Being present to the sensations this posture creates in your body. Being present to any emotional or mental energy that's present for you. A 
And then as you feel ready, slowly walking your left foot back in so your left hand can come to the outside of your left foot. Tucking your right toes under, planting your right hand on your mat and then taking a twist to open to your left. Finding a few breaths here. And then as you feel ready, spinning your right heel down to your toes, point to the long end of your mat, and then returning to Humble Warrior. Bringing your hands to clasp behind your back, and just find yourself present to three full breaths here. Feeling the fullness of each in-breath, and the softening release of each out-breath. And then rising up and then turning your left toes out to the long end of your mat right toes to the short end coming into a warrior stance your right knee coming over your right ankle squeezing your shoulder blades together smiling your heart to the sky and taking a humble bow And just being curious and present to your response to this shape. What can your breath do to help you be here? And then releasing your hands to your mat, turning your toes under, lifting your left heel off the mat, dropping your left knee, walking your right foot out so that your right toes point out on a diagonal. Drinking a big deep breath in, and then exhale, just soften into the shape. And then once again, finding that spot where there's sensation in your body that you can be curious about. And then slowly walking your right toes back inward, bringing your right hand to the outside of your right knee, tucking your left toes under, bringing your left hand grounded to your mat and then taking a twist out to your right. Slowly bringing your right hand down, rotating your left heel to the earth. Finding your clasped arms behind your back, taking a bow. Perhaps finding a little bit more space in your right hip to sink in and soften. And then slowly rising back up, turning both of your toes out diagonally, taking a big deep breath in. Exhale, squatting once more. Just hanging out here for one more moment. What's happening now? And then as you feel ready, pushing your legs straight. And then stepping your feet together at the top of your mat. Taking a moment to inhale your arms out to the sides, up overhead. Taking your left arm or your left wrist into your right hand and just taking a gentle bend to your right. Perhaps turning to look up toward your left, grounding your feet into your mat. And then coming back through center, inhaling, lengthen your body, exhale to bend. And then coming back through center, inhaling, opening your heart to the sky, 
exhale, just coming to sit back in chair posture. Just being present to what's happening now. What might you be trying to avoid or resist? How can you open and get curious in this shape? And then as you feel ready, hinging at your hips, bringing your belly snug into your thighs and planting your hands on the earth, stepping your left foot back. Setting yourself up for a lunge here, grounding your feet, and then rising your arms up alongside your ears. Taking a flow here, inhaling, straightening your front leg. Exhale, sinking down. Inhale to rise. Exhale to soften and lower. One more time, inhaling to rise. Exhaling to lower. And just pausing here. And then slowly grounding your left heel to the mat, opening your arms out, finding balance in warrior two. Your right knee is over your right ankle. Perhaps you're turning to look out at your extended right arm. And then inhaling, coming back through Peaceful Warrior, opening up the right side of your body. And then exhaling, finding the flow, bringing your right forearm to your right thigh, extending, reaching long through your left fingers moving through each one of these shapes at your own pace. Allowing your breath to guide you to explore. Continue to invite your right knee out to your right pinky toe, making lots of space in your right inner thigh. And then meeting back in warrior two, straightening your front leg, and maybe even stepping your feet a little bit closer together, preparing to take triangle posture. So really rooting down through your legs, lifting through your kneecaps, and finding a strong, tra stable triangle shape. And then when you're ready, reaching forward with your right hand, and then just letting your right fingertips rest on your right shin. And then begin to breathe length into both sides of your body. Maybe even reaching your right arm alongside your right ear so you can really feel that length and then release your hand to your leg. You can turn to look up at the sky or down at your foot. And just continue to invite your left hip back and your right hip under. and really feel the opening as you continue to invite your right hip back. And then turning to look down at the floor. And this time closing your right hip, maybe even stepping your left, or your right hip, your left, closing your left hip, maybe even stepping your left foot a little bit forward. And coming into pyramid posture. So now your hips are in the same plane. Inhale, finding a flat back. Exhale, just let your head release. You can take a couple breaths like this, inhaling, feeling the length of your spine coming forward from your hips, making any adjustments to bring your right hip back and your left hip forward so they're parallel to one another. And then exhale, letting go. And just allow your body to breathe here. And then bringing your left hand flat to your mat, opening your right arm up, turning to take a revolved triangle. So your right shoulder opens, your right arm opens. You might find a little bend in your right knee. Just taking a gentle twist here. And perhaps just inquiring, what could just a little bit of discomfort teach you?
and I'm not talking about pain, I'm talking about just that little bit of just discomfort. It's not exactly where you hang out and take a nap, right? So what could you learn by softening into any discomfort here? And then as you feel ready, bringing your right hand down, turning your left toes back out, coming back up through warrior two. And then bringing your hands together to stop to the step to the top of your mat. And just pausing and being present to what's happening now. Inhaling your arms out to the sides and up overhead. This time interlacing your fingers and releasing your pointer finger. Hollowing out your armpits, drinking in a big deep breath as you root down through your feet. You open out through your heart and just take a gentle bend to your right. Once again, finding that space where there's just some sensation that's interesting and that you can be present to. And then inhaling, coming back through center. Exhaling, bending to your left. Then inhaling, coming back through center. Exhaling, coming to sit down and chair posture. You can keep your hands clasped or open them, open your palms. And just exploring this shape here. I can tell you this is one of the postures that I so often avoid. And I'm so curious, why do I avoid this posture? What does this posture have to teach me that I'm trying to avoid? Noticing your breath here, and then when you feel ready, bringing your belly to your thighs. Inhaling, finding a flat back. Exhaling to fold. And then stepping your right foot back to set up your lunge on this side. And then rising your arms up. Inhaling, pushing your left knee straight. Exhale, sinking. Letting your breath rise you up. Exhaling, finding space as if you were almost stretching your mat in half. One more time, breathing in. And breathing out. And then rotating your right heel down, opening out into warrior two. Bringing awareness to the outer edge of your right foot. And just being mindful that the weight is shared evenly between both of your feet. Many of us lean forward in warrior two. See if you can find balance in your warrior two posture here. Bringing your ribs right over your hips. Drinking in a big deep in-breath. Exhale, finding peaceful warrior, lifting your left ribs away from your left hip. Let your out-breath just soften you into the shape. And then coming with your left forearm to your left thigh, inhaling, exhaling to flow. Inhale, feeling the length here. Exhale, flow. Couple more rounds like this. And then coming back through straightening, oops. Straightening your left knee. Bringing your left or your right foot perpendicular to your left. Inhale, exhale, reach. Coming out into triangle. Opening your right hip back, bringing your left hip under. Maybe even lifting your left arm along your side of your left ear, reaching far.
Then feeling your body breathe here. What could you be present to in this posture? Where do you feel this in your body? And then as you feel ready, bringing your right hand down, closing your right hip, and even stepping your right foot forward to start to bring your hips parallel. Both left toes and right toes are facing the short end of your mat. Inhale, finding length. Exhale, sinking down. Taking a couple breaths like this. Inhale. Exhale. One more, and breathing in. And then breathing out, just sinking into this posture. Continuing to invite your hips toward parallel. Left hip moving backward, right hip moving forward. And just inquiring what you might be holding here. And what could you let go of? And then slowly finding your right hand rooted onto your mat and then opening out to your left. Feeling your body revolve here. And then slowly closing your hand down. Rotating your right toes out, bringing your left knee over your left ankle and coming back up through warrior two. And then closing back up, stepping to the top of your mat, hands coming to your heart center. And then as you feel ready, taking your toes out to the corners of the mat, inhaling your arms up. And then exhale, bring your hands through your heart center, coming to sit all the way down in a squat. So just right to where this feels good for your body. If you want a little support, you can always grab a block or a book from underneath your sit bones. And then bringing, wherever you are, just bringing your, thought, your, your uh, arms to the insides of your knees, bringing your hands together in prayer. And just breathing here, maybe closing your eyes. Just allowing yourself to be present to whatever is happening now for you. You can stay here and continue to explore this shape in your body, or you could even play with bringing your palms flat to the earth or flat to your mat and bringing your knees right underneath your armpits. And just beginning to play with sinking, coming forward, maybe lifting one toe and then the other, pulling up from your root, and just playing with the balance here. Notice where you resist, notice where you might be judging, and just allow yourself to explore whatever this feels like in your body. Your edge may be slightly uncomfortable, Maybe you can't stay for long, but just noticing what's there for you. And then when you feel ready, coming to sit back on your sit bones, taking one leg out long and then the other. Just pausing a moment in staff pose, rolling your shoulders back and down. taking a moment to breathe here. Maybe even walking your fingers behind your sit bones, squeezing your shoulders together and opening through your throat by dropping your head backwards. And 
and just noticing what you can be present and open to here. Are you feeling open in your throat or is there a little bit more constriction there? Are you feeling open to expressing yourself in your own unique way? Or do you feel a little bit more uncomfortable with that? Perhaps even bringing your feet to your mat and going in a little bit further by inviting your hips upward, squeezing your shoulders back and down and letting your head totally drop. And just finding whatever edge makes sense for your body here. Notice if it feels really scary or unsafe to drop your head back and just be curious about what that means for your life. What can your breath teach you about moving through fear or being in a space of discomfort? And then when you're ready, just bringing your sit bones back to the earth if you lifted them off, bringing your feet forward, snuggling your sit bones down into your mat, finding staff posture so you have one line of energy from your heels to your hips and then one line of energy through the crown of your head. Inhaling, bring your arms up alongside your ears. Exhaling, just reaching forward toward your feet. Let go of any agenda about where your hands should land and just let them land in a space where you feel sensation in your body. Let your breath breathe your heart open, lifting through your head, feeling still that straight line of energy from your sit bones all the way through the crown of your head. And then exhale, just soften, folding forward. Taking a few breaths like that. Let the in-breath make length from your sit bones all the way through your head and let your out breath just allow you to release into your fold. If you're holding onto your legs, perhaps even just turning your palms upward now and allowing yourself just to be soft here. completely releasing. Maybe this is a space of discomfort for you. Maybe you notice yourself really gripping or holding. And just allow yourself to be curious about why you might avoid or ignore what you need to release. Staying present to your breath and just seeing how the breath flows in your body to invite you deeper into your fold. Perhaps you notice that coming inward is an edge for you. And then as you feel ready, slowly walking yourself back up. soles of your feet flat to your mat, scooting your sit bones forward, and rolling down one vertebra at a time. Taking a breath here, and then walking your feet in a bit closer to your sit bones bringing your knees directly out from your hips, bringing the palms of your hands down onto the earth, 
and then inhale, just tucking your spine inward, just gently lifting your hips up. And then exhale, slowly spreading your spine back down one vertebra at a time. Feeling each piece of your spine as you set it back down to the earth. And then allowing the in-breath to tip your sit bones forward, filling your belly. And then your out-breath begins to deflate your belly, just like you're rolling toothpaste out of a tube and rolling your hips back upward. Just taking a gentle flow here. Noticing if it's an edge to move this slowly through these postures. Or even noticing the opposite if it's quite comfortable. And then the next time you arrive with your hip points lifted, being mindful not to turn your head, bringing your chin in towards your chest, and then just walking the backs of your arms toward one another, clasping your hands together. Just taking a couple breaths here. Inquire of any spaces where you feel your edge. And you can stay here or bring the palms of your hands Fingertips towards your shoulders, elbows toward the sky. And then pushing up onto your head or all the way up into wheel posture. And notice here too, what's showing up. And then slowly lowering back down. Bring your spine all the way to the earth, whether you're coming out of bridge or wheel, and then hugging your knees into your chest. Inhaling, feeling the top of your hips fill with your breath, your knees pulling against your hands, and then your out breath lengthening the back of your tailbone, bringing your knees inward. Take a few gentle movements like this. And then releasing the grip of your hands from your knees, bringing your knees together. And then just slowly taking both of your knees to your right side, turning to look out toward your left arm. You can gently rest your right hand on top of your left knee if that's serving your practice right now. And then just breathing into your left side body and your left ribs. Even feel free to connect your hand here. Notice any spaces of edge or discomfort and just see if you can explore those areas. You're releasing your right hand from the outside of your left knee, taking your left knee a bit lower down underneath your right knee, taking your right ankle and bringing it on top of your left knee and just seeing how that changes your twist. Feel the life force of your breath moving through your body. and then slowly unwinding. Keeping your right ankle to the top of your left knee and then just bringing your left knee inward, either holding on behind your thigh or behind your shin. 
And once again, inhaling, letting your hips just tip forward, pulling your left knee into your hands. Exhaling, making space, gently pulling your knee in. You might not even be able to see this movement on the outside, but you can feel it from the inside out. Notice your spaces of resistance. And see if you can just soften and explore and be curious in those spaces. And slowly releasing the grip of your hands, letting your left foot find the earth. Uncrossing your right ankle. Once again, inhaling, teeing out your arms, bringing your knees in towards your chest. Exhale, taking a twist. Knees coming to your left and turning to look out toward your right. Perhaps resting your left hand on the outside of your right knee. And just noticing where you might still be holding or resisting. And then releasing your left hand from the outside of your right thigh, and then bringing your right knee downward, bringing your left ankle on top of your right knee. Breathing into your right side body here. What's happening now? And slowly rolling your hips flat to your mat again. Keeping your left ankle crossed over your right knee. Interlacing your fingers either on your right shin thigh or your right shin. And then inhaling, tipping your hips forward, filling your belly with your breath. Exhale, deflating your belly and hugging your knees in. Inhaling, pushing your right knee into your hands. And then exhaling, pulling your knees in. And just softening into any sensations here. Releasing your fingers from being interlaced, bringing your right foot flat to the earth, uncrossing your left ankle, and just taking any adjustments or any last movements you need, maybe even just taking your peace fingers around your big toe, stamping your footprints on the sky for happy baby, rocking from side to side. And just take any last movement you need that will support you to come into Shavasana or stillness, deep relaxation. Extending both feet out long on your mat, letting your ankles just flop out to the sides, bringing your arms out, palms turning upward, and allow yourself just to receive Notice if just being open and receiving is a place of edge for you.
Slowly begin to wiggle your fingers and your toes. Maybe you roll your head from side to side. You can stay here in Shavasana if you'd like to keep exploring this space more. Or bringing the soles of your feet to your mat. And rolling to one side. Just taking a moment to decide what you can take out of your practice and into your life. And then slowly coming up toward an easy seat. Just taking one big breath, arms out to the sides and up overhead. And drawing your hands to heart center. Thank you so much for sharing your practice with me today and joining us in the Dark Horse Beer Garden. I hope to see you all in person again soon. I hope you're all staying well and taking great care of yourselves. The light and love in me sees the light and love in each of you. Namaste.